تسطل با مما تاف کوف لمده زایس خوب تسطل با اینیان مشمتسین و بطایق و خوب کم شد تایم رو لای نادم و مشبادم تایم هم نادم We found out there's a big difference between Choyk and Mishpat. Choyk is a law that you don't understand the reason. And a Mishpat is a law that you know the reason. You know the reason. You know why the, the thing is that you have a taste for it. I'm 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 If the Torah wants that everything will be not understand, no reason, not understand, no taste for it. So why are we having mishpatim? We brought that Torah legal. I said the Torah wants to tell us the reason. So the question is why we have chukim and why we have mishpotim. Now it tells you the rule. Vainyan. Ki ve'em es mishpatoy ra'akol atov asa'odon memegu v'nefesh. The mishpotim is a hazard, is good for a person, it means it has, it's for the purpose for a person. Also for your goof and also for the nefesh. It means gashmis and ruchmis. But look, now this is basically this is basically uh, this, the nekudu. Mishpatim is also good. Now, people think it's only mishpatim is only good for the goof and not for the nefesh. So the chiddush is that mishpatim is also good for the goof and also the nefesh. Now I want to explain. But look, I want to nechmed. I want in your nechmed. I want to tell you something. Very respectable, something very kavod, something that double choshu. Mashi yude a toyro akol gashmi yonik gufli velo gufli. If you look in the toyro, you be chuk the the Torah tells you if you keep the Torah, you get this all this all this reward you get. It doesn't say things spiritual, it does only things physical. Velo gufli, and this is something very strange. Kibemes. I know Gash was heaven. They have a toe in the mamish like Chaloim, Kinomas, like it says, Zatu Shenayu. It says the Rashi there, the Tsuda Dovi says there, Zat Murutas Chayam Hem of the Chaloim. Life is only like a, like a dream. So why you see the Scha is Dafka and things of Gashmias and not Dvom Ruchlim? Physical things like ha- have a nice wife, children, have a nice car, and money. Why you get, if you says you keep the Torah mitzvahs, you will get physical things. It doesn't say you get spiritual things. This is the question. Why the Torah gives you, you have panosa, you have food, everything you get. No, but they, the Torah did not say on the mabo. I know, but you say we babies have to give us the carrot in front of us. Yeah, okay, maybe yes, maybe no. But why the Torah does it? Does it? What? But why you need interest for the Torah? Why you don't do some miruchnius? This world is only 70, 100 years, 120 years. It is only a passing through. Why you don't say things are bigger than that? Or in a you get the nitzchias. He himself said, he just said that you can't hardly see the only work you can understand. Okay, he says that line in the piece. How can you tell? Very good. No, no, wait. He says it. Wait, wait, wait. He says something very good. He talks into the piece soon, what you said now. He says that point. But he get the question first. First thing is not cheap. The question is why the Torah does have oinesh and things of physical things. What the Rambam said. Okay, but the Torah, all the, the Torah is for that. It's also all the Olam Dolim, even for the Yon Novi, even for Moshe Rabbeinu, even for all the even for all the, all the six Kani, everybody's the Torah. And the, and the Torah makes a double Gashmi. Which is why. 
Yeah, what's it give us a rule? Listen to the Kiddush. The Kiddush is Gobel and Moed. In came. A maski ain shayat bat stoch or toibo. Shenem and it's a ti la zulas be goofies. If I, if a guy has seicho, if I give you gashtius, it's no really, I'm not giving you, I'm not giving you a favor at all. It's not, it's it called seicho? It's like a dream. There's no value. Kin is schoit shenarim. It's not like a joke of a child, of, 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 of young guys. If he's a loyal, then he's a mate, a toba zulas, a goof. And the other rabbi, if you want to help a person, help him only Ruchlius and not Gashmius. Like the Postic says clearly, Rodim Zdoko Bechese in Sochaim, and Chaim and a Toyro. If you want to help a person, you may help him in Toyro more than Gashmius. The first one in the line is Behemes. Behemes, Dech Ator Einoken. The Dech Ator is not that way. the Torah says when it comes to Gashmias, you have to help your friend more than Ruchmias. You have to make the Torah's mitzvah only one time and the Torah says, it says, Ochiach Tochiach goes on Ruchmias. But Gashmias, you find the Torah, Kula Gmulus Hasonim, help. You see, more than, more than Ruchmias. Shnan del Vanech goes on in trying, the Talmidim. But, but, oh, Shnan del Vanech teaching Talmidim. But help Kali Sur. Help is not the Shabbat of Anachem. Why was that? Why is that a Kiddush? What? A Kiddush ain't come out. Why? I don't stand. Why? I don't think it's a Kiddush. What's my job to help him with his Gashmi? Oh, because they're helping Gashmi as you say you get the Kiddush. When you help the person, Gashmi is, this is the so Torah's mark. Why would I think that my job was to help him with because the Gashmi has, no has no value. Because the Gashmi has no value. No, but if I like a dream. No, that's in general. But I'm saying it specifically. Why would I think that my job would be that I should help my friend spiritually? Because I would think my only place would be is that I should do good to my friend, so therefore I should help him physically. Make sure he's fed. Make sure he has a bed. Make sure he's comfortable. Therefore, he'll be in a space where he can get his rock meals. So I don't understand what you want to say. What are you saying? Uh, why would I think that my job, I would think that I should help my friend more in rock than in gosh What is value more? Gosh or But just because the value doesn't mean that so I... So I have person spend his energy, where's more value? Simple. Because this world is like a dream. Put something that is real. Don't put in fantasy. Don't put in illusion. This world is only an illusion. No value. Put something that has value. Ruchlius. Simple. The other the How am I going to be able to give him the That's your problem, what you have to do. That's, that's your problem. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Is I would rather do what I can do than having a problem helping him. But, I, but, the third, but you see, if you talk value-wise, it's more value to help some... Yes, okay, that. so now the question is, why the Torah says, the term more psukim in the Torah, help a person, help poor people, and not only that, you see that a, a healer may have to poor person, free, free by soils. you see the Torah is more macro than the physical, more than spiritual. So what is it, what's going on? At the new place of Achnos Asolchi, Help more people more than help a yeshiva. How this can be? This cannot be. Or the yeshiva is a good for both together. But the mice is. Okay, there's another problem. A yeshiva menia, menia, menia. Dabbing like like a yichir, being like yavets. He knows yavets. Yavets dabbing. He had a problem. He didn't make help people. What are you asking? 
Please, the Talmudim will come with all the money that they need. They came from Yerichoi. They came, they have to take care of Gashmi's Bechla. They don't need to teach me Torah. They have to learn Gashmi's Bechla. They have to sit down and get Talmudim. They came from Yerichoi. All the money they need, they have to worry about Gashmi's Bechla. You can see yourself. If you're feeding someone, at least you can have a chance to give them. That is not a problem. If you don't give them any food, that is a problem. I'm so big. I'm so big in toy. We like you like with toy. Even without, even all day without after the t- uh, patching too. He wants to get the toy without without the toy. This is the answer. The question is like this: Why the toy was beat and the gash we sell? Well, now he tells the reason. Kia, this is what he said. Which one? The first was Xiv. When it comes to Ruchnias, this is what Menashe said before, because he said a couple of times in San Mikel. Because it comes to Ruchnias, people ought to care about Ruchnias. People care about Ruchnias. They don't care about themselves. Because they're not no gear to me, it doesn't touch me. Like you said, we don't, we don't feel on a mabba bechlal. It's not even, it doesn't talk to us. They take care of it. Abchaim Alevi, Abchaim Alevi, he made a takona when they, when the time of the war one, two, war, war one. When people are finding a place to stay, he made a takona, no shul to put people in the shul. No what? No one can be in the shul. No, no people can sleep in the shul. Everybody has to put in the houses. So I asked, why they the shul? No, because they put in the shul, no one take care of them. They don't look out to me. The shul take care of them. That's what said. He made it to no one to sleep in the shul. Only has to put in the houses, no shul. He made it to you see, when it's not a fush, because people have to care. They don't care, no look out to me. They put in the shul, they should take care of them. They take care of it. And no look out to me. No look out to myself. I enjoy it. It's hard for me to do it. Because I have to lose. I have to lose. Ain't no way to say that if something is good, I'm going to give others. I have to give something. If something is good for me, it's hard to give. So how I can, it's hard for me to give. Because it's something I enjoy. I know what is it. And I know the value of the thing. I, feel, I see the good. It's hard for me to give. But because you're losing out. Because you're losing out. You feel, you, you feel you're losing out. Higama shogal atzmoy ain't no tzalo. But the rest of us, when it look out to you, your eye have a, you have a be, tzal ayin. To help others. And the Torah says, we all the heart. And Gashmi is a something you give all your heart. And Gashmi is. And the Torah says, we all the heart. And Gashmi is. And the Torah says, we all the heart. And Gashmi is. And the Torah says, we all the heart. And Gashmi is. And the Torah says, we all the heart. Why would I say you're swimming? What I heard the story, what the big up Shom Shadon says, a guy comes to Rosh Hashanah, and your keeper comes to shul, and so will sit his own chair. Now what he does? What, what he can do? Now he has to keep up his chair. His gas is. Is he giving up his chair? What is this, a chair? He has to down in front of Hashem. Don't keep him, Rosh Hashanah. Give him a ding. Well, it's only, it's only gas fears. What is a chair? He can stand up. What is the problem? It's only gas fears. Oh, Goofy, this is the Nisoy, and this is hard for him to give. They give us his chair, and he has to stand up, he has to give his chair. Oh, he said opposite, he said. What a person has only one chair in shul. What he does? Has to give himself or his child. So I'm sure he said, everyone who won't give his to a child, 
the child will not come into my way. Because the child went away. He can stand up. The child will not stand away. He has to know what to give. He has to give up his chair for his child to sit. If not, he will not stay in Torah. The point of Gashmi is, you have to know the Lord. I say more than that. Have you saw Sananta says, what time we saw Sananta? He came to a city, and he came to this town. And he saw one of the children running around. A Yosem has no money to pay for the Malamed, for the student. She came to the, the Shuvah to Rahir and he said to her, listen, you have to sell the Sefer Torah to the child. Sefer Torah to the child to learn the Chayda. She says, that's what he says. That's what he says, Moshe was Sefer Torah to pay for the children to learn Torah. How you can sell the Sefer Torah? No, but this is that's what he Don't have a Sefer Torah in Shabbos and Yom Tov. Don't have Sefer Torah in Shabbos and Yom Tov, but make sure the child will go learn the Torah. This is that's Torah. That's the it is. The Tzibur don't have a separate Torah, no separate Torah, no Snippy Adami. But you sell it to what? That child can learn in Chayd al Torah. It means you have to give up that Gashmius. Goof, look. No, that's Gashmius. The Torah is it? No, it's Gashmi. also Ruchni. It's, it's a Gashmi. What do you think about the Sefer Torah you're giving up? But it's Gashmi, because Ruchni is his Torah. It's the gashmis of the person. The it's more ruchni than, than giving the gashmis the person to get money. After you have the tzibur needs to give money to the malamed. Right, right, right. So right, you got the point. Okay, you got the point. Okay. The point is the gashmis of the like we saw Sander says. He says it here in two minutes. Al kochoch. He said the two second two lines before that. You have to accept the person, every person in yeshiva, you have to accept the benachas. Relax. Not everyone, you have, everyone comes in, you jump on him, you hit him, and you, give him, you judge him, and you don't accept him. Not only that, you accept himself in your office. This is the whole gashmi. That he says. They go. Seven upon your office means accept your friend with a nice face. Everyone who comes, you have to say, Shalom Aleichem. Except a nice faith. This is Gashmias. Not Ruchnias, it's Gashmias. And he says, also you see, he that has okay, ran in front of a poor person, three pastors. Loka noshim royale. The last line and the very important, the last line. So people are bad hard. Roitzim rakle alit on the next page. Echavero bona mabo. Some people have a bad eye, bad heart. The only one, Olamabo, Gashmi is their own help. This is called Levra. Big Chidush. If a person only wants to help Olamabo and not Olamaze, it's called a Levra. Big Chidush. I'm helping Olamabo? No. You have to help him Olamaze to see what he needs. Famous story, famous story, was with, with Abu Shimon Shkop. Was famous story read in that safer is this boy walked almost uh, two days to come to Shimon Shkop's Yeshiva. He walked to, uh, years ago in Europe, it's a hard thing, he's like going from Meitzad to go to Yushalayim, there's no money, I walk. And he went to the villages to go by foot to go to one place, it took him two days to go. And he comes to Shimon Shkop's Yeshiva, and he wants to accept the Yeshiva to learn. So Rav Shimon Shkop asked him two questions and accepted the mission. So after years later, they, they asked him, and he came big time to They asked him, what is the two questions they asked him? They asked him, if you ate today? Well, if you slept, if you ate? So what do you think? Immediately after he didn't sit in eat, immediately took his own meal and he gave him. His own uh, meal, supper, lunch, and he gave it to him. And then he sleep, he gave his own bed for him to sleep. Until years ago, you was very poor. Talking about no even sleeping is almost impossible, it was very hard. And he said, when you saw that, he came, they gave you the. Yeah. What? You know? what? When he saw you didn't have food in the place to sleep, that. that, that no, that made him. He saw that, he, saw that, he, saw he cared about his gashmirs. Oh, the student. He yeah. stood and saw oh, that. He saw that and anything changed his life and he came big time home. It's famous story. <coughs> famous also with the shoes. Also the shoes. The Khilish also shoes. I get it. Anything that's got 
I would imagine if a guy is on the level of Rebbe this or anyone who's in Torah, yeah. if they're not, for instance, a guy who comes in late, late at night during the year, he came in and he said, I'm going to start giving you Torah, and all he wants to do is go eat some food, he would be a jerk. No, no, you can't eat that food. Let me just teach you some pale of They're simple. How would I not do that? A guy hasn't eaten in days. I don't, I, I don't know, let me teach you Torah. No, I would say, here's some food I ate already. I ate an hour ago. I don't need this food. I'll give it to you. Yeah. <laughs> I care for my friend. The Torah is asking me to care for my friends, I do it. So I'm going to say, oh no, no, let me teach you Torah, man. What do you want to say, Zufa? What do you want to say? It seems like it's Peshitah. Yeah. It seems like this is Peshitah. Not Peshitah. It's, it's, it's not Peshitah. It's not Peshitah at all. So you're saying most of human beings in this not world, most. all of human beings, no, most. 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 I want to tell you something is, a guy comes to synagogue, and a guy comes to synagogue, comes straight, and he paid for the seat. I hear the story. Four hundred shekel. I hear the story, and someone's sitting in it. He gets mad at him, screams on him, and he thinks he can pray for God. I get it. But to me, I would think, okay, someone's in my seat. I but guess he's not talking. No, to but me. you have to stand for twelve hours. So what? What so? What? Twelve hours is still long. <laughs> I would imagine that someone would give you a seat. That's what you're tired. Say, oh, yeah, you can sit for a while. Just ask the guy about it. I want that dozen. No place to sit. If you need something, no place to sit. But he paid for it. Exactly the point. Exactly the point. The gas fees is exactly the point. Therefore, we shouldn't pay for our seats. No, not the point. The point is. So you have to give up gashness when it get to you to give up. That is art. This is, this is all giving all your heart. When, what it is the Kiddush says, this means giving all your heart when you give the gashas. Read the line he says it here. Four lines from the bottom. Five lines. The first side or the second side? The first side. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five lines from the bottom. But Torah Kedosh HaRotzka, underline that, Torah Kedosh HaRotzka, Sheid Rosh, Torah Zula Se Bechol Avavoy. With all your heart. How you do all your heart is physical things. We have to give you the famous story, the famous story with the big tzaddik who was saving the Holocaust. When the famous story got Kaiser. When he came, the boy came to Yeshiva and he gave up his food. For, a year, for half a year, he gave his food. And he went around to get, he, 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 he had rich guys to give him food every day. And he, and he gave his own food to the rich, to the poor person. I know a boy that was not a good boy, a young guy gave his food. When it came to the Holocaust and the Germans wanted to kill him and all the, all the people, and asked Hashem, please Hashem, I gave up my food. He gave up his food, wait a minute. He gave us his food and he went to eat himself. Other places, not even eat them. He had to eat, and go and go like this, they get every day for his food. And that, says, no, no, but I but he had all the food. You have to run around. You have to run around to get the food. He had good food. He had to run around to get his food. And then when they came to the Germans and he said, Hashem, help me out because I gave that point and did chesed. He was saved with the Germans lived another, two, another, another 50, 60 years after that. Because it was the, it was, he gave up his own food for it. Little things is comfort. He gave his bed. He gave his food. His, he gave his bed, he gave his food. The physical things. Here. Was this person, I'll tell you the story, the famous story with the, the famous story with the Beis HaLevi. The Beis HaLevi, famous story, they, they, they make it, their storybooks, they have a book in the storybooks. They, this is David, this is very important to read the story. The Beis HaLevi was going with his rag, his wagon, and it started snow like you never saw. He cannot even continue. And it's strong snow, wind and snow, and he cannot continue going. He cannot go to his town. He said, cannot go. His mom is just very bad. And it's getting worse and worse. They don't know what to do. So what he did, he stopped his wagon. He started to go to this, the first house. He goes to his house. 
and he sees a beautiful mansion, a big house. He goes in there. He sees a rabbi with a beard and this and that. He said, listen, uh, I could come to eat. He said, okay. And knocks the door, he puts him in the side of his way, and he has a hole. And he gets him to sit in the hole there. And he's sitting there, uh, that's sitting, waiting, and he's waiting. In the meantime, he sees the, the balabais, the head of the house, fixing the house for the, you know, fixing the house, it's, it's the, the living room, and fixing it, and making it beautiful, and putting nice food there, and nice everything, makes it beautiful, the place. Shh, coming, big new man. He sees someone's coming there, like he's waiting for someone to come. And fix it, actually make it beautiful the place there. Best food, best meat, chicken, and he's sitting there like you know, the he's sitting there in the corner and, and uh, waiting in the hole, not even talk to him, not even food. Give him the side, he doesn't even know he is, he's sitting there so waiting. And three o'clock in the night, or in the middle of the night comes the big, big, big rabbi. Big rabbi comes, he comes to the house, and he sees it, he comes in and he sees it and he puts it in the house. When he sees it, he sees the lady sitting like that. The Bessalev is sitting there. The father of Chaim lady. Not the Bessalev, the father of Chaim. He's sitting, sitting like this, like all the poor people. Giving, he's sitting, not even to eat, nothing. He's sitting only like, like this. He says, this is what you're doing to the rabbi of Brisk? You put him like that, like, 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 like a shmata he gave it to him. And he started to get and ask the balabais, what are you doing? You're giving me covered. And I'm nobody. And he give and he make that the he gave to the, the rabbi of Bris that is all the Christ so all Christ so like, like a Chaim Kanievsky, the brother Chaim Christ cared for him and he gave it like this. He says, I didn't know about it. He didn't know. That. So the so the, he went to the Chaim Alevi and the Beis Alevi says, forgive me. So what the Beis Alevi said? Who knows? No. He said no. And I forgive you. What he, he said to him? To my house. He said to come to my house and learn what is to be chesed. Not to make Eifa or Eifa, who looks nice or beautiful and has a nice beard, you know, we put him in a nice place. Or doesn't look nice, you, know, you put him in a shmat, you don't know who he is. And he was there for a couple weeks in his house and he saw how the Prime Zalevi's house. Poor people come and give him heat and dig it. And sometimes the Prime cannot sleep in his own bed. And his wife cannot sit in her bed. They give no beds and they sleep in the, they sit down in the chair and they go to sleep. They sleep on the chair. The both of them sit in the chair, the table, in the kitchen. They both put their heads down and sleep all night. The poor people sleeping on the bed. They don't even sleep in their own beds. The father and mother, the Bissalevi and Abhai, they're sitting on the on their own table and they put their heads down like this. And they give the poor people sleeping on the bed. And he sees how he gives them food and they give it. He saw the house, a small house, and he has how much a chesed he does, and then came people this, and people sticking people, cannot even be. And he did chesed and come on, he says. He says, I thought it was chesed. I, 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 I thought I was doing chesed, I'm sorry, I didn't do chesed. I saw the house of Chaim when it's considered, and Beis Alevi was chesed. And after a couple of weeks, he says, I got the lesson. And then he asked Beis Alevi, forgive me, he says, I forgive you. I wanted to teach you. You think what his chesed is? You have no idea what his chesed was. You don't even. You only think about yourself, not think about what the other person really <coughs> needs. We will continue tomorrow this piece. We have to stop. I'll continue with that. Stabbing, 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 stabbing.